What's going on guys, Jeff here for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be taking a look at the five must-have items for battling dino. Welcome back to Mad Hatter's Reef. This is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, make sure you smash that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Now today we're gonna to be taking a look at the five must-have items for battling dino. So let's take a look. What is going on guys? So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the top five must-have items to battle dino. And if you've never dealt with dino, it is a nasty little bugger that can lead to hobbyists shutting down a reef tank if not dealt with properly. Now, as far as the first step to dealing with dino, you first have to identify it properly. And this is a really good photo of dino. It has a very brown appearance and can often start off your day where it's not looking so bad. And as the lights are on, because it is photosynthetic, it will use the lighting to build up and kind of create this brown, snotty looking color on your surface of your substrate, your rocks, and even sometimes corals. And it usually has little air bubbles that are trapped inside the snotty looking brown stuff. Now, nobody wants a reef tank full of snotty looking brown stuff. So ultimately, there are some things that you can do to overcome it. The water box 70.3 actually had a bout of dino. And I overcame it relatively quickly by putting to work some of the things that we're going to talk about in today's video. So without further ado, let's jump into the five must-have items for battling dino. Now, coming in at number five on the five must-have items for battling battling dino flangelites yes i know i'm not saying it correctly and feel free to leave a comment down below on how i don't enunciate properly i'll be sure to file it with the correct authorities now as far as the battle with dino goes air pumps can do a tremendous amount of work to increase the oxygen levels within your reef tank and that is actually one of the main front runners to allowing dino to overtake a tank. A reef aquarium that has low levels of oxygen is going to allow dino to overtake the tank. So using a air pump, airline tubing, and a wood diffuser is going to do a lot to add oxygen to your reef aquarium. Now these products themselves are not enough to battle dino. They're not going to remove it from your aquarium, but it does help with a lot of the symptoms that come from treating dino a lot of the different medications that are out there for treating dino deplete oxygen levels even more in an aquarium which can ultimately supercharge your dino so using a air pump airline tubing and a wood diffuser i prefer wood diffusers because they put out micro bubbles which is incredibly small and moves a lot more water and is much more productive by creating surface agitation helping dissolved oxygen enter into the aquarium and getting your oxygen levels up. Coming in at number four on the top five must-have items for battling dino is a siphon. Now, be careful with this because a lot of folks, when they start seeing dino develop in their reef tank, want to do a water change. Now, even though that we're talking about this being one of the five must-have items for battling dino, you do not want to do a water change. I'm going to say that again. You do not want to do a water change. Now, the reason that this product is on the top five must-have items is because there's something that you can do to remove dino from your aquarium and do it in a way that you're not putting or needing to put new salt water in your reef tank to actually effectively remove these nasty little snot buggers from your reef tank. All you need to do is put a filter sock in your sump and then you can have at it. You can actually take the other end of your siphon, put it into the filter sock, and then you can continuously siphon all of the substrate in your reef tank and then eventually remove the filter sock, throw it out. You don't want to put it back in anything that you are using unless you're going to properly clean it with some type of chemical. But ultimately, 
with the use of a siphon and filter socks, you can actually siphon the gravel or substrate in your reef tank and remove as much of that dyno as you physically can. And that is going to help reduce a lot of the dyno in your reef tank and make it look a little bit better for the moment, but it's not a cure just yet. Coming in at number three on the five must-have items for battling dyno is a protein skimmer. Now, this is a Nios Quantum, which is one of the best protein skimmers out there. And this one's geared towards your middle-of-the-road reef tanks up to 130 gallons. Now, the reason that this is an important item for battling dyno is that what it actually does in your reef tank. It's going to do a couple different things for you. It's going to add bubbles to the water, which is going to help increase your oxygen levels in your reef tank, which is what we talked about at number five. A protein skimmer also is a incredibly important step in the use of the number one must-have item for battling dyno, which we will get into in a little bit more detail when we get to the number one spot. But a protein skimmer is an incredibly important component of a successful filtration system on a reef tank. Now, there are successful reef tanks out there that don't have a protein skimmer, but for me personally, I am always going to have the best protein skimmer that I can afford on my reef tank, and that is going to do a lot more than just help keep dyno at bay. It's also going to help reduce a lot of the maintenance associated with keeping a reef tank. Coming in at number two on the five must-have items for battling dyno is a UV sterilizer. Now, a UV sterilizer is one of the very few items on this list that can actually straight-up kill dyno. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why isn't that just number one, and why didn't we just talk about this one to begin with, and why is this list still going? Well, the reason that the list is still going is that there's only a certain type of dyno that this one can actually kill, and that is the free-floating type. Now, most scenarios when you're dealing with dyno, you are actually dealing with the free-floating type of dyno, which when you are looking at it in your reef tank, it's the dyno that usually collects in the dead spots of your aquarium and kind of builds up and it looks a little bit thicker in those areas. That, in most cases, is actually going to be the dyno that is going to be impacted by a UV sterilizer. Now, if you're one of these lucky folks out there, well, you're not lucky because you're dealing with dyno. But if you have dyno and it's the free-floating type, a UV sterilizer is going to be enough to take care of it. All you need to do is increase your oxygen levels, run a UV sterilizer, and you're going to be in pretty good shape. But for everybody else that doesn't have the free-floating type of dyno, a UV sterilizer looks good. It'll keep your water crystal clear, but it has not going to have any type of impact on anything other than free-floating dyno. Coming in at number one on the top five must-have items for battling dyno is a bacteria product such as Dr. Tim's Waste Away. Now, the reason I put this product at number one is it for me personally, it was the way in which that I battled dyno with the water box. And there is a regimen that you need to follow with this product, and it involves a lot of different steps, and you have to be very disciplined and follow that process to a T. But the benefit of using a bacteria is you're not adding anything foreign to your aquarium. It is a 100% reef safe and is going to make sure that your fish are safe, your inverts, corals, everybody's safe. And what it does is it goes up against the dyno in a way that it is competing. And when the bacteria wins, as long as you give it the opportunity that it needs to be successful, it will effectively have the dyno in a stronghold and outcompete it and eventually take over the tank. And it does a lot of other benefits as well. A product such as Waste Away or the Waste Away Gels, which is a time release. You don't really have to... Um, get in there, you know, every so many days. It's just something like you set it up and forget it. But both of these products are extremely effective at battling dyno. Now, in the event that you have a bacteria bloom, your water can actually become cloudy. Now, that is merely that there was so much nutrients in the water that the bacteria just had an explosion to the point where you can actually see it. And a protein skimmer can actually help remove the dead 
bacteria and all that excess out of your tank. And that's why that is such an important piece of equipment during the process of removing dyno from your aquarium. And I keep saying removing, but you don't actually remove dyno from your aquarium. You are essentially keeping it at bay. There's always a element of dyno in your reef tank. And essentially when you have a dyno bloom is because that there are certain elements within your system that is out of whack. And using any of the five items that we talked about in today's video is going to help keep dyno in check and keeping your reef tank looking absolutely beautiful. All right, folks, so there you go. There is the five must-have items for battling dyno, and I'm going to provide links to each of these products in the description below if you want to check them out and possibly do a little bit more research on them. I'm also going to be including links to some very helpful videos that help me in this battle, and I hope that they help you as well, especially if you are taking on the nasty, snot boogery stuff called dyno phalangelites. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the thumbs up. I will see you next week right here with a brand new video.